So here's uh, four findings uh, about halogens that I've learned from my experiments and from others. The larger the ionic size of the halogen ion, the more likely they are to enter the gas phase. The main controls on whether a halogen partitions from the melt into the gas phase are dominated by its total abundance in the system and also by its melt composition and also to a lesser extent these factors. More chlorine and bromine seem to partition into the gas phase at more silicic compositions, whereas for fluorine seems to be the opposite. So if those exolved halogen gases manage to reach the surface, they're not scavenged by the hydrothermal system, then monitoring those gases at the surface could tell us about some of the underlying magmatic processes. And this is something that we're trying to model with machine learning.